What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to another episode of Beastly Indie. Today I'm going to be asking you guys a question. Do you believe in guns? They're taking our guns! Do you like the idea of the Second Amendment? Do you think that it's important for Americans to have the right to bear arms? Or are you in the mindset that the way that America is going and the world is going, that guns in general need to be removed from the, pub the populace of the public? and given to figures of authority let me know in the comments now i'm going to get into this a little bit because i do have my own thoughts on the subject and they're going to either totally agree with you or totally disagree with you at this point i am 100 percent into into the mindset that we reserve the right to bear arms um i was really really big into the political movement back in i want to say 2011 when uh, Senator Dianne Feinstein was really trying to push through legislation to have particular types of uh, bands and drums removed and particular types of guns removed from public sale. And at that point, I did not own a gun. I'm a pretty big guy, and uh, you know I've whipped quite a few asses in my life, to be honest. I never really felt I would need a gun until I saw the government trying to take them away. And whenever you see the government trying to take away your ability to protect yourself and your property, that should give you some kind of red flag that you need to be prepared just in case something bad happens. Uh, that's what exactly what happened over in Germany. In Germany, the Jews were ordered to give up all their firearms. They had to turn in all their guns or they would have been in prison. Now, if the Jews didn't turn in their firearms, I'm sure that the whole catastrophe that happened over in Nazi Germany wouldn't have went down the exact same way. It may have went bad, but I'm pretty sure it wouldn't have been as bad. When you remove a person's right or ability to protect themselves and their family, then basically you can do whatever you want to them. And so in my mind, seeing what's going on in the United States and around the world with terrorism, first of all, you can't fight terror. Terror is an idea. It's not a physical thing. It's not a place. It's not a person. It's an idea. It's like saying, I'm going to fight hate. You can't fight terror, so don't let the government confuse you by saying things like that. It's not real. Terror is a fabricated idea that they want you to fight. Now, you can say I'm going to fight terror, but that means you can fight forever. And that's exactly what's going on. We're in a consistent war. But the importance of a gun is this. If someone breaks into your home, you can protect yourself. If someone's trying to take your property, you can protect yourself. Now, and the funny thing about this is, and I'm so pro-gun, I have my gun, I've never even had to use it, okay? But I'm so pro-gun that it blows my mind people are so against them. Why would you be for the government removing the guns from the population of law-abiding citizens? The thing that really blows my mind is people like Pierce Morgan, thank God Pierce Morgan is not on TV anymore. I hated him, oh my God. But these people... Uh, in, in the media who are so against guns they want the guns taken away from law-abiding citizens take the guns from the law-abiding citizens and who who has guns left who's left with guns then criminals do you think if they passed a law that said bring in all your guns bring in these particular types of weapons these types of clips bring this stuff in and turn it in if you don't you're going to go to jail do you think that criminals will actually listen of course not I mean, and if you look at all these school shootings and all these places where all these mass shootings are supposedly happening, they all happen in no no gun zones. Gun-free zones where people cannot protect themselves or where people get slaughtered. And so I am of the mindset that you should definitely have a firearm in your home, in your possession, for yourself and your family. If you have people that you love, and you sleep at night in a household with a family that you care about, you want to be prepared if you hear glass break in the middle of the night, if you hear people whispering down the hallway. If you don't have a weapon, you, you know what you're going to do? You're going to cower in fear and wait until they find you. That's exactly what you're going to do. There was a young lady who had her child with her. A guy broke into her house. She ran upstairs and hid in the closet with her gun. She stayed in the closet with her gun. The guy came to the closet door, started breaking the door to get in there at her. She she shot him three or four times. <laughs> it makes me laugh thinking about it. Shot him in the face too. 
and he ran off and he got in his car and, and started scooting down the road until he finally veered over and smashed into a tree. And that's a great story because she was able to defend herself. Now think about how many times young ladies have not been able to defend themselves when someone breaks into their home. There was a video that happened in New Jersey in 2013 where a guy broke into a woman's house. She was at home with her child. There's a video. Check it out on YouTube. And he beat her so relentlessly on camera. Her baby monitor caught the whole thing. He was kicking her in the face. He grabbed her by her neck, slammed her against walls, threw her all the way down her basement stairs, and her little three-year-old baby was watching the whole time. And of course, me being a man, a protector, a natural protector, I was pissed. They finally caught this guy. If I was a police officer, that dude would have looked very different when he was going through booking. I promise you that. But if she had a gun, if she had a way to defend herself, then this big idiot would have had a really, really rough day. And I think that as citizens, as free individuals, we reserve the right. It's in our Constitution. It's in our freedoms to be able to protect ourselves and our property and our families. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you think that guns need to be about... Now, look, I'll say this. If they could somehow snap their finger and every gun in the whole world disappeared, yeah, I'd be down, right? But you'd have to worry about getting stabbed then. But I would be happy because then all the criminals' guns would be gone. But I would never want to remove my gun knowing that criminals have theirs. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section below. Should we be able to bear arms? Are you down with the government trying to take yours? I mean, they do have these FEMA camps all over the country now. If they do push for legislation that removes our guns, who knows who might end up in those camps? Just saying. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give a thumbs up. Show support for the Beastly Gamer channel. And definitely subscribe. Be sure to leave your comment in the comment box below. Let me know how you feel about guns. I'm interested to know. I'm the Beastly Gamer. And I'll see you guys next time.